With all the excitement surrounding the release of the Sony PS4 and the Microsoft Xbox One, it's easy to forget that Nintendo has a console of their own, the Wii U. Now, although the console is a little bit underpowered and not quite as graphically intense as either the PS4 or the Xbox One, there are still a number of reasons why it's really a shame to forget about it entirely. For one thing, at a discounted price, the Wii U appears more enticing than it was during its November 2012 launch at $300 and $350 for the available SKUs. Just for comparison, the PS4, which is considered cheap, starts at $399, and the Xbox One is $499, including Kinect. Not only that, more titles are continuing to come to the horizon for the Wii U, including Super Mario 3D World, Mario Kart 8, Super Smash Bros. Brawl, and Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze. The Wii U already has a fairly good library of children-friendly games like some of the games in the Mario franchise and in the Sonic franchise. It's a number of- there's a lot of good games on the Wii U that people are just forgetting about in the excitement surrounding the PS4 and Xbox One. For sure, the Wii U has been struggling financially, yet Nintendo has been through similar pitfalls in terms of software drought and console word of mouth. Whatever the case, this Christmas season is in a sense a make or break point for the Wii U. It doesn't help with several outlets claiming that Nintendo should discontinue or continue to heavily discount the Wii U as early as next year, and I really think that this is really a shame, and I know I keep on saying that, but I do think this is true. For one thing, the Wii U has a unique design. With the GamePad touchscreen controller, it's definitely different from Microsoft or Sony, which have stuck with the more traditional, uh, traditional controller of just like the DualShock 4 for the Sony or just a more traditional Xbox controller for the Xbox One. Now the touchscreen on the Wii U offers a unique style of experience that you just won't find on the Xbox or the PS4. And I know you might be saying that the Wii U isn't quite as good graphically as the PS4 or the Xbox One, but the truth is, graphics aren't really the defining thing anymore. Sure, in the 1990s it made sense to be worried about like a good graphical game or a non-good graphical game because all the games really weren't that great in terms of graphics. But when we're talking about all 1080p HD consoles, I mean seriously, what's the deal with a few extra pixels? And in truth, the lack of all those extra features will keep the Wii U's price down. As I've already said, the Wii U is substantially cheaper than both the PS4 and the Xbox One, which is another reason why you might want to consider it as giving it for a gift or even just getting it for yourself. Now, the Wii U is also good for casual gaming and good for family gaming, with its titles like Super Mario 3D World and Super Mario Bros. U. Those are designed for the family and those are designed for casual gamers. Also, with the unique design of the Wii U, Nintendo's always at its best when they innovate. With the Wii, the original Wii, the Wiimote was at first just bashed as being a, a, a non-traditional controller that would never catch on, but the Wii became the best-selling console of last generation. Microsoft and Sony just couldn't compete. Now with the Wii U, Nintendo is finally taking online and third party support very seriously, and this is the final reason why the Wii U isn't such a bad alternative to the PS4 and the Xbox One. In the past, Microsoft's and Sony's offerings have been a lot more geared to online gaming and to third party support, but now Nintendo is trying to bring in more and more support from third party developers and offering online capabilities with the Wii U, even though none of their own first party titles are using online themselves, which is kind of weird. But let me know what you think about the Wii U in the comments below. I really think it's not such a bad console, and I really th I'm just curious to see if anyone else shares the same opinion as me. Let me know what you think of the Wii U in the comments below though. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye!